Hi there. I'm in beautiful Squamish, British Columbia, just about a 45 minute drive from North Vancouver. I'm in front of the Carbon Engineering Research Facility. This facility is Canadian technology, Canadian engineers and scientists working hard to solve the climate change issue, especially with regards to the extraction of carbon dioxide right out of the air that we're breathing right now. What they do is they're going to use heat, catalysts and other technology to take carbon dioxide atoms that are floating around in the air and join them together. In fact, what they can do is actually join enough of these together to actually make gasoline. So for every carbon atom that they take out, let's say they put eight of them together, they can make octane. If you've ever looked at your gas pump and you see the octane rating, it's referring to a chain of carbon, eight carbon atoms long. This is the kind of technology, the science and engineering that we need in Canada. These kinds of technologies can be hooked up to oil treatment facilities, to refineries, to smelters, to cement manufacturers, and literally suck the carbon out, recombine it, and make it into useful fuels. It's going to take a lot of energy, it's going to take a lot of money and a lot of research, and it's going to take a lot of brilliant Canadian engineering minds. These are the kinds of minds that we need to retain in Canada. This is why I, as a chemical environmental engineer, are excited about what Canadians can do to help resolve our climate issues and our pollution issues all at the same time, and sometimes even provide more energy. This is why I'm also seeking the nomination for the Federal Conservative Party in the riding of North Vancouver. I hope to take my engineering skills to Ottawa to help advise a conservative parliamentary government on the best way to protect our environment, to create jobs, and to help our economy. I'm asking for your support, the coming nomination. My name is Peter Cron, and I look forward to meeting with you. Thank you.